enjoying it on prime ticket television. I'm Chick Hearn along with Ruben Castillo and we're awaiting the entrance into the ring of Julio Cesar Chavez of Culiacan, Mexico and Vernon Yogi Buchanan of St. Louis, Missouri. You fought Chavez right here in this ring. I called it on television. Tell me about it. What is this guy like? Well, Julio Cesar Chavez is one of the greatest punchers I've ever fought, aside from Alexis Arguello. He does not miss punches. Now coming to the ring first is Vernon Yogi Buchanan. Yogi is a tough guy. He's managed by Jim Howell. He's had 19 wins in the 25 professional fights, one of them by knockout. And he told me he's going to knock out Chavez. Well, no one has ever beaten Chavez, let alone knocked him out. I think Tyson has started something. He come up, up into the ring with no robe. But at least he's got socks on. Yeah. He won the uh, forum lightweight title here, and he wears that belt into the ring. He regards this, and who can blame him, as a very serious chance, but here he comes. The great Julio Cesar Chavez. 59 victories, 50 of them by knockout. He has never lost. What an ovation and a deserving one by the crowd here at the Fabulous Forum. Raul Gonzalez is his handler. And the WBA lightweight champion is fighting on this card. Came in at 140 pounds. I think that's about where he would like to fight at and move up to the super lightweight division. He's having a little trouble now keeping at the lightweight weight. But he is still the champion. He has never been defeated. Why is he so good, Ruben? You fought him. He pinpoints his shots, Chick. He doesn't throw wild. He's, he's one of those fighters that are very, very patient fighters. And that's, that's what makes him a great fighter. And in the corner, meditating, praying, is his opponent, Yogi Buchanan. Born in Berkeley, Missouri, now lives in St. Louis. For details on the two men, let's go to Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. One of our special attractions tonight, lightweights in the ring, 10 rounds of boxing in a non-title bout. Introducing to you on my right, he's fighting out of the red corner, wearing a blue trunks with white trim. Hailing from Berkeley, Missouri, he's now fighting out of the great city of St. Louis. He weighs in tonight 139 pounds. His record 19 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw. He has 12 wins by way of knockout. He is the former, he is the forum lightweight champion, ranked number 22 by the WBC, introducing the very colorful Yogi Bangin' Buchanan. the ring on my left fighting out of the blue corner wearing white trunks with red trim hailing from Culiacan Sinaloa Mexico he weighs in tonight 140 pounds his outstanding undefeated record is 59 wins no losses 50 big wins by way of knockout. He is the current World Boxing Association lightweight champion of the world, presentando el gran campeón mexicano, Julio Cesar Chavez. Now to give instructions, Chuck Hassett. All right, gentlemen, you had your instructions in the dress room. Are there any questions? All right, shake hands, come out, boxing. Good luck. Chuck shake Hassett hands. will be the third man in the ring. Isn't that a fighter's face there? Handsome, yet carrying the mark of the broken nose. He's 5'7", Buchanan's 5'5". Five, five. 
He's a pound heavier at 140. He's five years older at 26, and he is four inches shorter in the reach. Buchanan is 72 inches. Chuck Hassett, a fine official in the ring with him. Here we go. Last time I saw Chavez fight in this building, he fought against the man that's working with me tonight, Ruben Castillo, and took him out in the sixth round. He wears you down. He is such a consistently good puncher. You'll see tonight, Chick, how he wastes absolutely no punches. He's fighting in a, in a category much, much higher than what he what I fought him here two and a half years ago. So we have to see if he still has that power, if his body can carry that 140 pounds. He has had, as we said, 59 pro fights, won them all. He had only 15 amateur fights. He turned pro when he was 16 years of age. That's 10 years ago. He's got five sisters and four brothers, and all of his brothers are boxers. Chavez is going to defend his title again in October. He defended with a six-round knockout over Rodolfo Aguilar in his first title defense. He was also the WBC Super Featherweight Champion back in 83. He does look very filled out, Chick. Yes, he does. He doesn't look like the wiry Julio Cesar Chavez two and a half years ago. And believe it or not, the weight that he's put on does not make him stronger. Michael Spinks can attest to that. It just makes him slower. So let's see if he can, his body can handle that 140 pounds. Very quick hands by Yogi Buchanan. Don't sell him short. He's got punching power. He's got a good left hurt. He's aggressive. That was a tremendous body shot that got the attention of Yogi Buchanan. Sure did. There will be more of those. Chavez is also a fighter that loves to exchange punches. And why not? When you have scored 50 knockouts and 59 victories, <laughs> you're willing to exchange. You must have something going for you. Look at the face, though, Chick. You can yeah. never tell by that, right? Chavez has got him in trouble already. He got in some real good shots, and there's another right hand that scored. Buchanan tries to move inside, and when he steps back, he's asking for trouble because that right hand is a devastating power for Buchanan, and the jab with the left is very good, too. See what I mean by the patience of Julio Cesar Chavez? He had Buchanan... Oh, that uppercut straight in the head of Buchanan. An assortment of punches. Oh, a great exhibition in the first round, and the knees of Buchanan are buckling a little bit. As you can see, Chavez isn't in a hurry. What you got to hurry about? In the second round now, and dominating the first round, particularly the last minute, was Chavez in the white trunks. Looking for his 60th victory without a loss. That left hook spun Buchanan. Good jab by Buchanan. Chavez is so confident. It exudes. The left hand by Buchanan has scored three times in the early going here in this round. The right hand by, Bu by Chavez landed. Chopping right hand by Buchanan. And a right hand punch scored by Chavez. Two shots to the body and then the uppercut. All with the left hand by Chavez's quickness. Oh, good left hook by Very good. Buchanan's had a good left hand in this round. He's going to have to try to wear Chavez down to see if he can carry all that weight. That's the only chance I give him. Work out, work out. That left hand of Chavez is lightning quick. Lightning quick, folks. You don't see it till it's coming back. <laughs> Oh, 
If you're wondering why people have called him pound for pound the best fighter in the world, maybe you're beginning to get an idea. However, let's say this from Buchanan. He's fought a much smarter second round than he did first. He must have gotten great help from Jimmy Howell in the corner. But he's taking more punches. I don't know how smart that is, though. <laughs> I don't think that's unavoidable. Not with the Chavez. Oh, he landed a left and a right on the Chavez. Oh, that's a low blow that was not called. There's a jab by Buchanan. Buchanan getting the credits from the crowd that he deserves for this second round showing. Half a minute left. Oh. Low blows. Good left hand. And a good solid right hand by Chavez. Overhand right Buchanan. Digging left hand just at the belt line. Round is over. Over to the corner of Yogi Buchanan, the five foot five inch, 139 pounder out of St. Louis, Missouri. Took quite a beating in the first round, but held his own as well as you can against a Chavez in the second. He absolutely did. And I think all those body punches that, that were considered low were right on the belt line. And, and don't be afraid to step away from him. Now okay? You start all over. Don't be afraid to step away from him. All right? Mm -hmm. Step off. Watch where he's coming from and come right back. Baby, yeah. throwing some beautiful punches. You're hitting him with some great shots. All right? Hey, I want you perked up now. You're okay. with the champ of the world, and you're looking beautiful. You're hurting yeah, this guy. Good, you're baby. nailing him. Okay. All right, get that spirit up right. now. There is the new middleweight champion, Michael Nunn. What a show he put on. Co-promoter Jerry Buss and Magic Johnson is there. And he's getting advice from Don King. All right, here we go. Round number three. I like that. Howell complimented his man. He says, you're in with the champion of the world and you are looking good. I like that. All right, let's see what happens in round three. Oh, what a right hand. And that hurt Buchanan badly. And if there's anybody who knows how to end a fight, it's Julio Cesar Chavez. And he might be going to do it right about now. He's digging that left hook into the body. He's coming back with the right. There may be some blood on Buchanan. We'll have to take a closer look. I believe there is under the right eye, but we'll check it out. Chavez has to be careful as he's coming in because Buchanan just landed two left hooks in a row. That left hook to the body is a blow that will really wear you down in just a little bit of time. Those punches take all the steam out of you. You can see him Buchanan's face when he when he digs that left hook. Boy, Buchanan's a tough kid. He's taking a lot of hard punches tonight. Like that left hook. And the right chop. Left and right and left. All Chavez. Yogi better get a little right hand busier. again. I think Chavez is doing exactly what you pointed out, Ruben. He's wearing him down. Wait, With oh, punches wait. like that right hand, then the left hook. And that's the end of it. That's all he wants. Buchanan said, that's all I want. That's it. He's a killer. Julio Cesar Chavez takes him out at 202 of the third round. And Yogi Buchanan wisely said, that's all. And indeed, there is a cut under his right eye that we talked about. In a moment, Ruben Castillo will be talking to Julio Cesar Chavez, who right now is embracing the man that he just beat so badly. Nothing to be ashamed of for Vernon Yogi Buchanan. We'll be back with the official time and then our interview with the champion of the WBC.
Lightweight division, Julio Cesar Chavez. Live from the fabulous forum we just showed you, ladies and gentlemen, one of the finest pieces of boxing art that you will ever see. Julio Cesar Chavez ending the fight in the third round. Jimmy Lennon Jr. has the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, two seconds in round number three. Referee in charge, Chuck Hassett, stopping the contest. Winner by way of knockout, improving his undefeated record to 60 wins, no losses. 51 wins by way of knockout, Julio Cesar Chavez. All right, acknowledging the plaudits of the crowd and his legion of admirers, Chavez, and the uh, loser, and nothing, as I said, to be ashamed of, Yogi Buchanan. Because, as you well know, 51 other fellas 50 others, now Buchanan makes it 51, have gone down by knockouts to the hands of this man, Chavez. Let's go up in the ring now to Ruben Castillo, who is with Julio Cesar Chavez. Thank you very much, Chick. I want to ask him first, ladies and gentlemen, he doesn't speak any English. I want to ask him first if there's anybody here, or does he know of anybody that can beat him yet? No hay nadie quien te gane ahorita, ¿verdad, Julio? Bueno, yo estoy tratando de que nadie me gane. Me he estado preparando muy bien para cada una de mis peleas y esta no fue la excepción. He said he was working hard right now. He's working hard so there isn't anybody that can beat him. But there's been rumors that he wants to fight Sugar Ray Leonard. Hay rumores que quiere pelear con Sugar Ray Leonard. Bueno, hay planes para pelear con Sugar Ray Leonard, pues, pero primero me tengo que ganarle a Ramírez, después ganarle a Roger Mayweather y, de, y luego ganar, ganar el, el campeonato Welter o, o definitiva ir con Sugar Ray Leonard. Well, he said first, that's, in the, that's in the future. First of all, he's going to fight Jose Luis Ramirez, and then he's going to fight Roger Mayweather in a rematch. Then he wants to move up to the welterweight division and fight for that. Queremos uh, hablar de, de la pelea. We want to talk about the end of the fight. ¿Qué, qué pensabas tú cuando lo tumbaste la primera vez? Bueno, eh, pues la verdad uno no piensa nada. Uno lo que piensa es terminar lo más pronto que se pueda. Well, I asked him what he thought about the end of the round. When he had him down, he think he could finish. He said he just uh, waiting to, to pick his shots as he did there, dig into the body and that uppercut right to the chin. Bueno, después de esta pelea, vas a, tar, uh, vas a tomar tiempo de un descanso? Bueno, sí voy a descansar una semana y posteriormente me voy a, a la ciudad de Toluca a concentrarme durante dos meses para la pelea con José Luis Ramírez. Well, I asked him if he's going to take a rest, he's going to take one week off, and then he's going to go back in the gym. I want to ask him how he feels about carrying all this weight. ¿Cómo, cómo te sientes uh, con todo este peso? Pesa 140 libras, es mucho, es demasiado, ¿no? Bueno, la verdad, no, me siento muy bien, muy fuerte. Lo que pasa es que yo quería pelear más round para, para estar en forma. Well, he says he feels good, he feels strong, but he wanted to fight more rounds to be in better shape. Bueno, muchísimas gracias, felicidades y buena suerte. Let's go back to ringside to check her. <laughs> Oh, that's a great interview. I loved it. This guy has got a face that could sell a million dollars worth of advertising. He is something really special. All right, coming up next now, a six-round preliminary fight. And then we'll come back with, of course, our Davila Laura champion.